everyone i hope you are safe and doing good so in the series of learning c++ programming language in the previous video we have seen what is a pair in c++ and in the series we have also seen what are vectors in c++ so uh, i hope you are now aware about vectors and pairs if not please watch the previous videos in this playlist then you will get this concept better so in this video we will see vector of pair like we are going to combine both these things vector and pairs Okay, if you want to combine the features of both these things, vector and pairs, then yes, we can do this thing. And that would be more powerful, you can say, uh, kind of data structure, right? Because yeah, uh, data structure is nothing but just a way to store and manage the data. So in this video, we'll see that thing, that vector of pairs. What is this vector of pairs? How to use it? Why to use it? When to use it? The application and all. With the help of programs also, I'll show you. Right, so now see, pair, I hope now you have idea like a set of two things or if you combine two values or two, uh, you know, uh, things, then that is called a pair, like a, in general terms, if I say a pair of shoes, pair of shirt, you know, these kind of things, means two things. We are going to combine these two things or two values and those values can be of same type of or different type like int, int, int string, string bool, these kind of things, right? So, like for example, uh, the detail, uh, student details, a name plus roll number. So, name is string, roll number is what? Integer. So, as a single object, I want to store this information. Student name plus, you can say the roll number, right? So, we can make this, uh, we can do, uh, we can make a pair to store this thing and how to do this thing like pair i have int and like string two data types and p and here only if you want to uh, one, one way is what many way to initialize this vector right we can do one thing this thing i have uh, I, I i forgotten to tell you in the previous video so one thing we can do is p is equal to in these curly bracket one comma and name gen this is also like we can assign the values to this pair right like this we can assign values to these this pair right but now i have like 60 students in my class right so for storing the detail of all the 60 students like name with roll number maybe you need 60 pairs p1 p2 p3 but better idea is what we can create a vector of pairs that is a simple thing right so vector means what it's a dynamic array we can say it's like same like arrays collection of homogeneous data types but what makes it the vector different from array is what it is dynamic array means size vector can automatically increase its size or shrink it its size right in arrays size is fixed that is drawback of arrays that is why we use vectors right now here we can create vector of pairs so how to create that thing what is the syntax please watch out the previous videos first like what is a pair what is a vector how to use vector and all then you will get this thing better right so we have a simple simple vector if i want to create a vector not vector of pair simple vector then we will write here vector the data type suppose i am creating a vector of type integer and vector name uh, suppose numbers that's it. This is a vector numbers which will store integer only. Int. Right? Or we can write, in, write down here float or we can create a integer of string like this or bool like this. Right? But all the values in the single vector would be of same type. Right? But here rather than storing this primitive data type, we are going to store pairs in this vector. Not this fundamental data type. No. Right, that is called vector of pairs. So, how to, what should be the syntax, int, but here it's simple data type, but here I want to store pair. So, for pair, we just write down here, what is the syntax to create a pair, pair. And here again, data type of whatever uh, value you want to store. Suppose int and string, right, this is pair. And again, close this for vector, right? And then vector name, uh, suppose student detail. So 
this is how we are going to create a vector of pairs right so now this student detail this is a vector which is going to contain these pairs int and string having two values one of int one is string right simple syntax i hope it is not so much tough right now same operation you can apply here what you have uh, you know done in case of vectors like if you want to uh, uh, push back a value in this vector of pair say push back a function we can use pop back pop, pop back we can use erase delete swap clear all the iterators we can use begin and see begin uh, see end and reverse r begin r end like this right so those things i'll show you two to three things with the help of programs remaining things you are going to practice right i hope this is clear what is vector of pairs so we can say it vector of pair it is a dynamic array which contain pairs instead of primitive data types right so we can say like what is use of this thing or the application when to use this thing if sometimes suppose if you want to group and perform some operation on two related piece of data then we can use vector of pairs right like maybe some coordinates or values or keys or like this thing in student detail if you want to store this kind of thing as a pair right like name of the student and roll number of the student and if you want to perform some operation on this data later then one way to achieve this thing is to use vector of pairs i'm not saying that this is the only way to achieve this thing or to store this kind of data no one way is this and there can be multiple ways to store this kind of data but one way is to use vector of pairs right now let's see this thing with the help of program so let's create a new file here and same we are going to include header file and namespace and yeah we are going to include the header file vector also because we are going to use vector right so let's define a vector of pair vector simply we write here pair int and string right and name of the vector is vector of pair is student details now if you want to initialize this here only then yeah we can do this thing also right we can just put equal to and here in this curly bracket just put the pair of values right in curly bracket so first is string sorry first is integer so suppose row number one and then name this is one pair suppose another pair in curly bracket curly braces right not those round bracket that would give you error right because this is the way to initialize uh, the pair so uh, next is suppose the uh, row number maybe two and uh, i'm just writing here pile i'm just initializing this with two pairs one and two right now if you want to print these two things then yeah we have uh, a loop like let's use for loop int i is equal to zero and then i less than till vector size so vector name is student details dot size till vector size this loop is going to iterate and then simply i plus plus right and how to access the values of vector simply we can use at also we can use that subscript operator also so let's use first subscript so name of the vector student details and here in this we are going to write down that index 0 1 2 3 4 so here obviously we are going this i is the variable which is going to iterate over this vector so here i will put i but now i want to access this this uh, you know uh, this value the pair values right suppose just write down this thing student details vector name and just i and that's it see it will give you error no operator this matches these operands these operands right because in this vector now we are not storing simple values or simple numbers or primitive data types there are pairs so how to access pair values we have two keyword first and second 
so you have to use that thing to access the spare values right so student details after that dot first let's put some space and then same here to access second we use just second and and that's it so let's run this and see what it is going to print see both the vectors one jenny two pile right now if you want to push back some values to this vector yeah we can do that thing also simply we have that uh, member function push back so same student detail dot just call this pushback function and now again print the values let's run this and see what output we are getting so yeah it's working the spare has been inserted 3 gr yeah. so it's working or another way is what here you can use that make pair function rather than this we can also do one thing here we can do what oh sorry we can just call that function what is make pair function make pair and in bracket simply we can pass something like this right this is another way so let's run this and i'll show you what output you will get here see it's done right pop back, pop back you can use all the functions whatever is there on vector we can use on vector of pairs right if you want to erase something yes we can use that thing also let's erase uh, which function you have to call on this vector erase so let's call erase and in bracket you have to pass the location location on which location you want to erase the data so that location you have to pass in this erase member function so and using iterator we can find out you know iterator is basically that is going to point that uh, you know object so it's basically containing the address or the location so let's first uh, just i want to delete this okay after inserting this i want to delete the third one three g are this student detail so what you can do on this vector student detail dot we can just call this iterator begin so it is going to return what that iterator to the at the beginning of this vector so here at this pair so we can do plus two zero then one and then two right so then this student would be deleted three and gia let's see i don't know it will work so let's just put here a semicolon and again just print these students details right let's run this first was one two jenny then one two three and again one two three has been deleted three j has been deleted so yeah it's working so all the functions you can use on this vector of pairs i hope now you are familiar with this vector of pairs so just create vector of pairs having here different different data types right and just try out all the operations all the iterators right begin end r begin c begin c end all the member functions swap clear and uh, pop back erase and push back we have done right insert you can use those thing also size mix size capacity you can find out that thing also here right so i hope now now this is your assignment you have to try this out right now right on this vector only you can try this out all the member functions so yeah it is quite useful vector of pairs because in this we have combined features or power of both the things vector and pairs and we have created another type of uh, you can say it's a data structure which is going to manage the collection of related data type or you can say related data right or rather than this we can use that at function also to access this you know these values so 
suppose here I am using add uh, function student details dot add and here in bracket pass that index something like this but don't forget to put this dot first and dot second these keywords student details dot add i dot second so using this also we can access right let's run this and see see it's working right so I hope this concept is clear to you guys. Uh, so in the next video, we'll see some coding exercise on pairs and vector of pairs, right? So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye. Take care.